Hello and welcome to The Fireplace, brought to you by Suncorp Team Girls. My name is Laura Clemesha from The Firebirds and today I'm joined by my teammate, Abigail Latu Miafal. Welcome Abby, thanks for being here. Hello, thank you for having me Clemmy. So we are fresh off the plane back from our game in Canberra against the GWS Giants. Abby, one of the main factors out of our last game that we really <laughs> wanted to focus on was our start. We had a very slow start against the Lightning. From your perspective in the attack, what were you trying to do and how do you think we went? I think we came out firing. One of our focuses was just being a little bit more direct, really attacking the ball. Mm -hmm. I think in that lightning game, we let them dictate a lot of what we were doing. Um, you know, they were trying to, they put in a box, pushed us wide. Whereas, you know, we play better when we're like sharp, direct, real definite. And that was one thing going into the game um, against um, Giants. And yeah, I thought we started really well. From the defensive perspective, what we really wanted to rectify is again, not being so reactive, but being quite assertive and yeah. stepping up to our players and making them uncomfortable and go where they didn't want to go. And we were getting the rewards. Yeah. Um, we were up by three or four um, about seven minutes into that first quarter when of course, drama, Gretel <laughs> Tippett's nose. So Gret's got a knock, as you may have seen, um, and a lot of blood came out, uh -huh. and it was a bit of a, a bit of a scramble. Gretz is an absolute trooper, yeah. but then in that moment, you came on, you tag team with Gretz, uh -huh. and how did you find it out there on court? What was the climate like? Obviously, started off really well. Like I was on the bench, and I am, like whether you're on or off, like number one supporter. Just want to be present, want to be there, and I was so engaged in those seven minutes. Like I was like. A front row seats, <laughs> front row seats to the best game of the season. And I was not like in the mindset that I was going to mm. come on because it was just like, it was flowing. There was momentum. It was yep. amazing. And as soon as it happened, I think my, my like stomach dropped a little cause it was like, <gasps> cause it was just blood yeah. everywhere. There was blood like outside and inside her nose. And it was just, everything happened so quickly. She was coming off, the bibs were being exchanged. And I was just really grateful that Romelda and Gemma just kind of looked at me and they said to me and they're like, it's just another training session. It's okay, calm down. I'm really, really grateful to obviously have them. Came on, was a little bit shaky, very grateful for the timeout that was called. Um, yeah, and then luckily we were able to hold our own and get that first quarter. Two things that you've just highlighted there, aspects of netball that maybe we don't always focus mm. on. The fact that on the bench, you've got to be engaged, you've yep. got to be ready. Mm -hmm. And then the fact that you're able to come on and make the impact, but also supported by Dids and yep. Jem, who really just touched base with you and gave you that confidence. I yeah. think that's really, really cool. Yeah, so good. And then of course, the third quarter was a different story mm -hmm. in the first half, where we came off and we were very happy with our first half. Mm -hmm. The third quarter was less than ideal. We ended up yeah. losing that one by nine goals and it completely changed the momentum of the game. Um, I think from the defensive end, we kind of tried to do the same thing, expecting a different result, which mm -hmm. wasn't working for us. We were too tight on our player. We got called um, for a lot of contacts and obstructions, which just meant that we weren't able to be effective. Things just weren't like going our way. I think mm -hmm. even down the attack end, we were losing balls that we, we shouldn't have. We weren't necessarily like catching the balls. I think we were all out of sync with one another. Yes. Everyone got so into their head because they were trying to think like, what, what are we going to do? What are we going to change? In that one action of um, not engaging and connecting with one another, we just, we let it slip. We let the, we let the ball go. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> there were a few drop balls, yeah. but don't worry, I'm sure we'll be practicing that at training. Oh, uh, 100%, yeah. And so we were fired up in that fourth quarter. Mm -hmm. Gabs brought us together at a timeout yeah. and just said, this, you know, this isn't good enough. We need to play for this four, fourth quarter yeah. and we want to we wanna get that bonus point. And I think that's a thing. Like We consistently go out to every mm -hmm. single game believing that this is the game that yeah. we're going to win and bring home. Gabs is amazing, she's yeah. inspirational, mm -hmm. and that really did kick us into action, didn't yeah. it? We got a bit of momentum, and so while not the result we were looking for, again, building for next week, building for next week. What we're really grateful for is we have like really amazing leaders across mm. court. We had you down the defense end, Macy came on and Gemma came in, and Gabby had that center court she lead, led there. In that fourth quarter, we all got out of our heads. Gabs reeled us back in, and I think, um, yeah, we scored our own and we kept the ball. So yeah, very grateful for that fourth quarter point. We can take that momentum through to next week, hopefully. Yeah, we will, 100%. Awesome, so after that game analysis, let's have a look at the team girl moment for the week. Okay, Abs, for this week's team girl moment, we're looking at something a little bit differently. 
Um, some of us Firebirds were lucky enough in the World Cup break to go and hang out with some of the girls from the High Tech Netball Club and we recorded the Suncorp Team Girls oh, chant. No. It was so much fun. It was a good time. So let's have a bit no, of a look at it. I saw gutted I couldn't have been there, but it looks like a lot of fun. Let's have a look. So we've got the Adelaide Thunderbirds at home this weekend. What do the Firebirds need to do to make sure we come away with our first win? We just need to keep playing with the heart that we do. Um, keep playing our Firebirds brand of netball, sharp, uh, direct, attack that ball, and just be authentically Firebirds. Absolutely, and the thing that I'm so excited about is that it's our last home game, mm. and it means so much for us to be playing in front of our home crowd to see that sea of purple. So love to see everyone there or watching at home on Channel 9. It's gonna be a big one, I'm looking forward to it. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. See you next week. <laughs>